everyone and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I put out a new video every week. And in today's video, I'm going to be keeping with the spooky theme and I am going to be doing an island tour of a horror movie themed island. Some of the movies that are going to be featured on this island are The Ring, uh, Fire and Ice, Trick or Treat, Hills Have Eyes, which is one of my favorites, Silent Hill, and uh, Cabin in the Woods, Signs. There's going to be a whole bunch of horror themed, horror movie specific themed um, aspects of this island. I'm super excited to tour it. And like always, I will include the German dress down below if you guys were interested in visiting this island yourself. Okay, and like always, I'm going to start off the tour at the airport and we are going to take a look at the map. So it looks like there's going to be two homes that we're going to be visiting. And everything looks like it's going to be super paved. You can tell in the top right corner, though, that that's going to be where the signs theme is with the little crop circles with the little designs there. And right away, we're going to start off with what looks like one of my favorite movies, The Hills Have Eyes. So for those of you who don't know, um, Hills Have Eyes kind of takes place in a desert where they would do, like, uh, bomb testing. And they basically take everyone at this gas station and they pretty much drag them off to these people who were pretty much affected by these tests with the nuclear kind of like bombs and they became all deformed and they eat people oh i love this look this like it makes me feel like i'm in some desolate desert wasteland i do enjoy this oh and we got the little trailer here i love this absolutely love this not a lot of people know about the Hills Have Eyes, so I was very surprised when I saw this in the um, little description that they gave. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoy this. Let's make our way over here. See if there's anything posted on the board. Oh, just a little heart. Very misleading because it gives me definite vibes I'm going to be murdered on this island. Okay, right here we have the Spooky Carnival. So according to the map, this is Twisty's Carnival. I definitely like how they use the dark um, carnival items as well. Yeah, it really adds to the theme. I also like the glowing aspects. Okay, let's just take a look at the beach. And they just labeled the beach as just a regular abandoned beach. Interesting, we have the abandoned treasure here. Also like how the arch is dark as well. Kind of adds the dark carnival theme that they have here. And let's make our way over. Now they just have this section labeled as the abandoned museum. I like how they kind of use this space though as like also a farm. Oh. I like the symmetry as well. Let's take a look here at the abandoned beach. Yeah, let's keep going over. Ah, here's the museum. Oh, I like that. I like how they made it almost look like an abandoned warehouse. We have a little cemetery outside. Okay, so this area of the beach is supposed to kind of recreate parts of It Follows. So we have a little hut here. Now, if I recall correctly, this movie is the one where each person keeps getting almost like possessed by this demon. And it just keeps like essentially following these people, just keeps possessing one person after the other. They made this section of the beach as the ruins. Oh, this cave. I love when people utilize this cave. I love how it glows on the inside. Very spooky. Oh. Getting into a little mischief here. Okay, I'm going to make my way back and then we're going to go explore the other side of the island. Okay, now this is the area where they label their house the Pink Palace, and then we have a barn over to the right, so let's go inside the Pink Palace. Oh, 
Oh, see, this looks exactly like the little dining room in Coraline. Let's casually get my eyeballs turned into little buttons. Because I'm mad at Mom and Dad. Ah, yes. The kitchen where they have all the nice foods. With the little music room here. Skibbity pop 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 ba doo ba doo boo. Alright, let's check out the other room. Oof. I like how they have like the picture there of Jack. This kind of shows like the reality, like once the um I think that's what they're trying to show, how like when the color wall fades away and you're like, oh wait, no, this place is actually god awful. Like the little pretty pink bedroom. Alright. Let's go check out the basement. Ooh. I think this is another instance of, um, like the original home. Where everything looks all run down and crusty. Alright, let's head out. I really like this, how they... We got like the nice little pink house here. Yeah, cause that's right, I think the pink palace is where like the family lives and they all stay there. I think so, it's been a while since I've watched Coraline. Let's see what we have over here. So they labeled this as the barn. Which, to me, I'm gonna affiliate with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Rum, num, 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 num. And then they come after me. I'm running for my life. Now up this way should be the devil's... Yeah, here we go. The devil's kettle. Let's say Melody Lane. Ooh. A little campsite here. Oh, that's so cute with the little jack o' lantern in the back. Now, if I recall correctly, the devil's kettle is with Jennifer's body? I'm pretty sure that's the city where everyone lives. Alright, let's make our way back and around. Hello. Okay. Oh, I get it. He's the, um... He's the character in Coraline. Very fitting, because he's right beside the Coraline house. Okay, so beyond this charming little area here with all the money... Oh! Is that Coraline? Coraline, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. B -b -b button Oh, that's cute. Alright, so, sorry. Beyond this point should be a cabin in the woods. I love this. Oh, and they have the actual house here. Is the ca oh. Alright, let's take a look. Very cabin-y. Such a plain, plain cabin. Is that something underneath the couch or am I losing it? I think it's a combination of both. I think there's something underneath the couch. And I'm losing it. Plain bathroom. There has to be a secret in here. Okay, what do we have here? Just a little messy bed. Man, this cabin is looking far too plain. Ooh! We got the surveillance team here. So creepy. We're just secretly watching David Attenborough. 
on the TV there. Hmm. Let's see what the basement has to offer. There's probably a murder scene down there. No, it's just cabin flowing the cabin basement filled with a whole bunch of knickknacks. Feels like the regular old basement. Oh, and a chainsaw. Okay, let's head out. Okay, so it looks like Oh, the crops are next door. There must be signs. So I definitely like the pathways. I like how everything just flows so nicely together. Okay, we have a little park here. Whoa! Oh! Aliens! It's signs! Man, I used to love this movie as a kid. Get proof of that. Crazy. Did you guys ever watch Signs? I feel like that one is a bit of an older one. I just remember, um, Scary Movie. Remember that series, Scary Movie? They, uh, made fun of Signs, and it was just so funny. Because they had, like, Charlie Sheen in there. Oh, God. Hilarious. Definitely like this crop circle pattern, though. I, I love this. Alright, let's make our way over to the next movie set. Welcome to Silent Hill, guys. Oh, I love this. Oh, this makes me want to feel like the, the fog's gonna roll in. Love this build. I love people who make buildings. Oh, it feels like I'm actually in a city. So this is supposed to lead to the Church of Silent Hill. Oh, I love this with the little graveyard here. Gorgeous. Definitely like that added feature there. Makes me feel like I'm about to get sucked up. Did you guys ever play the Silent Hill games? I used to play them all the time as a kid. Oh! <gasps> Are they gonna have like pyramid head? Oh, the nurses. Always freaked me out, bro. Always freaked me out. I wonder if they're gonna have like a pyramid tribute. Like a like um like just just something. Just dragging around a sharp weapon of some sort. Uh, I guess not. Either way, though, this is absolutely fantastic. And this is the roadway that leads back to Silent Hill. I mean, not Silent Hill. Um, the roadway that leads back to Hills Have Eyes. God. That move is just so good. So, now we are entering Trick or Treat. I like this one. This one's kind of campy. Every time it comes out every year, it's kind of like... Um, there's a lot of blood involved, I will give it that. But it's not like genuine, like I'm not horrified of it, but I think it's just such a classic. Yeah, see, trick or treat. Love this. I wonder if they made like a tribute to Sackboy in this one. Just so you know though, Sackboy is like the main, I don't want to say villain, they're, but they're just the main bad guy that kills everyone on Halloween. Okay, they didn't label anything on this side of the beach, so I'm just assuming it's kind of like a filler area. Ooh, very orangey. Oh, what is this? Okay, so they labeled this one as fire and ice. Okay, there we go. Very fire. Very ice. I also like how they did it with like the crescent moon in the background. I like that. Oh, I just love this little neighborhood. It's so cute. Alright guys. This one is the one I've definitely been waiting for. The ring. Now I believe- it's been so long since I've watched this one. I think it came out like like 20 years ago. 
But this one is the one where there's a girl in the well and you have to put the, here it is, here it is. You have to put the tape in there. And after you watch the tape, it's like you'll die in seven days because you see her crawling out of the well. Oh, I definitely like the use of the lighthouse in the background. I really like that. Oh, who's hiding there in the bush? Cat. Of course. I definitely like this. Is there anything on this? Yeah, and they have the ladder for the well. Oh. Oh, okay, so this is the island. Like the this is like the main place in the movie where like everyone lives, where they get harassed by Samara. Not some it's Samara, right? I wanna say it's Samantha, because Samara sounds fake, but I'm pretty sure it's Samara. Yeah, because yeah, cause she likes the horses. You see in the video, there's... Okay, it's coming back to me now. It's like a fever dream. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I... Oh, look at that with, like, the clouds covering the moon. Oh, that's so cool. Definitely like the details. I definitely like the added little uh, detail here with the VHS uh, TV. So for those who don't know... Uh, there's like this videotape that goes around and when people put the videotape in, it plays uh, fragments of Samara's life. And this ring in the well, like that's all you see because they throw her in the well and they cover it up. And then you have se then the phone rings and when you pick it up, it's like, seven days. And you have seven days to solve pretty much this woman's freaking death and avenge her or else she like murders you. She comes out of the TV. They make fun of it in Scary Movie, where it's like, as she comes out, she gets water all over the floor, and she's like, Cindy! Cindy, she's messing up my floor! And then she beats her up. It's like a fist fight between her and Samara. God, that was so funny. Alright, everyone, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like this island. I love the little details. I love how there's just movie references that I feel like people don't normally see like i said like the hills have eyes that was one of my favorite movies it was just so creepy it gave you this disgusting like visceral feeling and i absolutely love it i and trick or treat that's also one of my favorites i just love how they brought attention to some of these lesser known movies that people have probably never heard of or you know what maybe they have heard of it but they've never they've never actually seen it like one of those like it has a bit of a name that carries to it I definitely love the movie selection, though, because a lot of these came out when I was younger, and it was really nice, like kind of like a nostalgic feeling to see them recreated on this island. Definitely loved it. And like always, I will include the dream address below if you guys were interested in visiting this island yourselves. And if you want me to your island as well, feel free to leave me a little description of your island and your dream address down below in the comments or in my Animal Crossing Discord. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!